Hey guys, today we're going to Parks to play in a $1,500 ink maximum tournament. But first, we have to get cash from our stupid ass bank. Every single time we get cash out, they ask what it's for. What are we, Canada? Mind your business. You're lucky I'm too lazy to switch banks. You could put drug dealer, I don't know, put entrepreneur. <laughs> they never go for that drug dealer joke. Hit me up below, 2239. My lease is almost up on this Highlander. Let me know what I should get next. Should I buy a car? Should I lease a car? Should I fucking walk? I'm boring, bro. I'm gonna die. Yo, how am I so f***ing stupid to wear these in a rainy day? What a momo I am. Not a homo, a motherfucking cocksucker. I can't film in there. This vlog might suck, I forget. Bro, I literally can't decide if I do stupid slots before or after playing. Like, is it better to get the D-Gen Impulsive Poison out or save it as a reward? 1500 Oh, nice. A $1,500 poker tournament entry. Maybe we just do just, just 100 just to little sauce it off. We'll rip just a little bit of $50 in, in Houdini. Houdini, who famously died filming a YouTube video. He still got it. He made my 50 disappear. All right, let's go sit. Let's go sit. Did you know my new sponsor, Steak US, has poker? Wait, for most states in the US, when you use my code RDP, get a free 25. No deposit necessary. The Park's Big Stack series, spelled with an X. So you know it's fucking cool. $1,500 entry, eight players maximum no guarantee but it doesn't matter it's fun to play a bigger buy-in event anyway 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 when we sit down we start with 50k the blinds are 500 1k 1k we win a little pot with ace high on raising on the button and flopping an ace doesn't fucking matter by the time the blinds go up we have 54k in our stack a little above starting for this next hand blinds at 600 1200 1200 we are under the gun and look down at black queens absolutely no reason for me to bring race into this i just i wrote down that they're black and my notes the suits do not matter in this hand don't we raise to 2500 the low jack calls the high jack calls and now it's on the cutoff and he goes all in for 22k back on us and it's like bro we have under 50 bigs and pocket queens it's hard for you to find me a spot where you're not just supposed to put it in in one form or another unless you watch to the end of the vlog and the other two guys cover us some people re-jam here and that's a mistake you just call it gives them a chance to think they can bluff you we just call they both fold big juicer pot right off the rip 46k in the middle what does the guy have pocket nines flop comes jack 10 6 10 ace let's go 80k in our stack off the boomy boom yeah this is fabulous with our stack more or less the same 80k and the blinds same 600 1200 1200 we under the gun we raise queen jack of hearts to 2500 it falls around to the big blind who free bets us to 11,500. this is super nutted super nutted i don't know what my accent is when you raise under the gun or early position and the big blind three bets you especially live but even fucking online People just have it. Our hand, though, is too good in this case. The player is a competent, good player. I forget his name, but he's a good player. So all those factors. We're not thrilled with life, but we're, uh, we're going to call and continue. 24K in the middle. Heads up to the flop. It comes. Nine. Two. Two. But the good news is there's two hearts out there. So for only one more heart, you can have a flush. That's not a bad hand. He bets 6K, standard size, and we just call. That's the only option. If you would do anything other than call here, you should uh, have sex with your dad. <laughs> I don't know why that came to mind. Heads up to the turn, 36K in the pot. The turn comes, queen of diamonds. We'd rather have a heart, but maybe not. Maybe this will help us get paid, because uh, who the fuck knows? He checks to us. We should be trying to maybe find a way to get money in here. For many reasons, we decide to check back. And those reasons are, one, let him keep bluffing if, if he's bluffing. You know, we, we shut down all his bluffs. Two, if he checks to us on the river, then we, we will just value bet ourselves as the beauty of being in position. Three, I'm still am a little cautious of his giant range. So if we were to bet and then he would fucking jam on us on the turn, I don't know if I'd fold, but it would be catastrophic to ever put yourself in a position where you fold top pair in a flush draw. But maybe like, you know, masturbate to your cousin type of thing if you would do anything other than check back here. Not even. Kick your dog. 
River comes the brickiest of all, three of clubs. He now bets 26K into the pot of 36K. He has a lot of better queen X. He has king queen, maybe ace queen. It's hard to range. He has aces, kings. But he's a competent enough player. Again, if this was other players, I would definitely fold. But even this good top pair. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm calling. He has ace eight off. He's a fucking savage for three betting that. Either way, we win a nice one. Now we have 134K in this stizzle. We lose a little guy. Like we raise pocket sevens on ace, king, 10. Take one stab and then I give up. Maybe lose a pot. Three bet with kings when when a raid blah 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 blah. Now with blinds at 1k, 2k, 2k, stack 121k ish. We're under the gun one and we have seven eight of spades. We raise to 4k, folds to the low jack, aka the shark hunt. He three bets to 12,000 off of his stack of about 50 bigs or 100k. Full sauce, if he was shallower, maybe like probably supposed to call maybe 40 and under, we're deep enough. Even though it's out of position, it's I'm going to call. Heads up to the flop. Flop comes four, four, three. Two spades out there. We check. He bets 8K into the whatever it is, like uh, 28K. Back on me. And, and uh, lately, I've been like really way more passive in these spots. But that's not the way to realize you're fucking. It's like, what, just check call and then never get paid when you hit the flush. It's like, fuck that. Let me make him fold his overs. We raised to 30K. He folds. But nice fucking Yo, momentum man. jump off. 1K, 2K, 2K. Uh, we raised King 10 off under the gun to 4,000. Some guy in position calls. This is the very type of situation I was working on with Danny. The drive in. Flop comes. 8, 6, 2. Dog shit for probably everybody. But, you know, we check. Ready to quit the hand. And then he checks back. Turn comes. Jack of whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it again. I have an over, but I'm, let me, I'm checking. I'm not really going to put more money in this pot. But then the fucking guy checks back again. And it's like, I feel like uh, to catch a predator. It's like, what do, you, what do you want me to do, man? They, they were messaging me. Once you check back twice and the river comes a queen, it's like, okay, I guess I win this pot. I bet big, I bet pot to make sure he just doesn't call with his fucking random eight, which he would have bet on the flop. There's really no need, like... Maybe fold out pocket nines. Who the fuck knows? He folds, but it feels good again also. We're going into break with about 154K on, on the first break. Guys, look at this shit. I hope steak doesn't drop me. Katie has COVID and I don't want to kill people's family members. I was like, well, let me put this mask on. I wish I had a Sharpie to draw a dick on it. They started almost making fun of me, like being like, oh, I know you're not woke. It's funny you have a mask on. I was like, yeah, but you could call me gay for even having it in my backpack in the first place. No man should have a mask in his bag in today's day and age. Right, so I was looking for my question. <laughs> so Heb and I are also about to have an in-depth Israel-Palestine discussion and smoke hash. <laughs> We're gonna occupy the smoking area. I hope you enjoyed all that great break footage that I didn't get, and that's why I'm doing these hands at home, because I spent the entire break hanging out with Soheb and Aubrey talking about the fucking Middle East and 150K in our stack. Blinds, 1,500, 2,500, 2,500. Villain in this hand covers us. He raises under the gun to 5,500. Folds to us in the hijack, and we look down at Red Kings. We three bet to 16,000. Folds back to my fucking dick. He calls. He's not a dick. The kid was nice. 38.5K in the pot. Nearly a full start stack at this point. Flop comes. King, two, two. It's almost too good. You know what I mean? He checks, and it's like, if ever I check back like it's like either bet really small or check and a lot of these times it's like you have so much of the board it's so hard for them to have shit to continue you know what I'll just I'll just check back I'll, even though it's somewhat face up turn comes eight of hearts now thank god much to our joy he bets 12k he starts betting we have like 130k still in our stack we need to find a way to get more money in at some point but this is the beauty of being in position is that we can just call and then either raise his bet on the river or blast the river. Like we will have another opportunity. We just call 62 and a half K in the, in the pot, 115 K in the stack behind river comes like a four of clubs. So the front door flush gets there I'm praying. He bets again. He does. He bets like 33 K. I fake him and haul, not overdoing it. And then go for the jam. We go all in, go for it all. 115 K and I'm ready to do all the antics to get him to call. I cover my face, which I've never done. And I say, somebody tell me when he, what happens. He's taken forever that eventually I call clock, which is a leveling thing. Because usually if you want somebody to pay you, you give them all the time in the world to make that decision. But like rushing them kind of makes it seem more like you're bluffing. Anyway, I call clock. I don't think for any of these reasons fucking matter at all. He makes the call. He's fucking sick, massive pot. He said he had an ace high flush. We have a million chips now. We have like 5x starting. We don't even have a chance to count them before we get right into the next hand. Same guy opens to 5,500, folds to us on the button, pocket queens. 
We three bet him again. Same size, 16K. The fucking small blind, a good, nice kid who, who was friendly talking to, competent reg. He decides he wants to fucking get involved in this hand. And off of his stack of about 95K, he goes for the cold four. He makes it 38K. I remember earlier when I said, it's like, bro, we have under 50 bigs and pocket queens. It's hard for you to find me a spot where you're not just supposed to put it in. Well, we have under 40 bigs right now, and I think I should have folded pre-flop. It's so nutted, and on the way to the fucking tournament, I was like, I'm gonna have to, I wanna make a hero call, hero fold pre-flop, and let myself do it. I just was like, convinced myself not to jam, which old, old me would have done. I'm like, let me call and just see what goes down on the flop. If an ace or king comes, I can get away from it. 85K in the middle, like 58K in a stack. Flop comes jack high, jack nine, four, two spades. He goes all in. And yet again, I can fold. It's just so nutted. He just has aces or kings here. I think the best version of me makes the fold. Never thought I'd be like saying this or looking at spots like this, but it just is. I needed to fold pre or I needed to fold here but we make the call and he has aces. Sick about this mistake fucking all night. Either way, after winning the Kings, we're still okay. We have 170K, blinds are up, 1,500, 3K, 3K. Same guy that we've three bet three time, or two times, raises to 6,500 now, folds to us in the whatever. We have ace nine of diamonds. We three bet to 17K now, he calls. Flop comes, king, queen, four with two diamonds. He checks, we bet 10K, he calls. Turn is a three of clubs, checks, we check back. The river comes a jack. And when he checks to us again on the river, th these are the type of spots I really shouldn't miss and I need to, I haven't looked into it, I haven't had a chance. I just shut down because I had diamonds and I wanted him to have more diamonds, to have more give ups. I don't know if I'm thinking about it correctly. I also made a joke against him that like, I had pocket jack because I was like, oh, I've three bet you three times in a row now. I had kings, queens, now I have jacks and a jack comes on the river. He would later say he was thinking about that on the river. I needed to bluff him. I didn't. I checked back. He had a queen that he probably would have folded if I blasted. Down to 130k. Win some other small guys. Now we're back up to 148k. Blinds are up. 2k, 4k, 4k. An asshole, and I, I didn't like. I don't like his haircut. Off of a stack of 40k, or he raises to 10k. He raises two and a half bigs. Folds to us in the big blind, and we have pocket threes. And since I would probably call a jam. I was like, you know what? If he's fucking around, although they always just kind of have, have it, I just jam. He calls right away, and I'm like, oh, fuck. He shows ace queen, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. The dickhead then wins the run out, back 10, 9, king, whatever, and then he goes, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Like, he starts mocking me. Fucking, I hate your haircut. We're down to 110K. Final four hands of the night. Semi tilted, but it's fine. Off one bullet, I have to start. Well, to the cutoff who raises to 8K. Now we're on the button with ace 10 offsuit and 25 bigs. There's only 25% of the field left now at this point, I should say. So there is some ICM. You do have to play it different at this stage in the tournament. I know that I can't flat hands that I normally flat when you're, when you're, there's ICM. Certainly a jam would be unnecessary. So I'm a wizard and I get it right. I, I three bet to five big blinds, 21K. Holds back to him. Unfortunately, he jams and I have to fold. He shows pocket nines, which is even more tilting because it would have been a flip, but your boy double checked the solver. I played that perfect. You're supposed to rebet, fold. Frustrating come down after that king's hand. We end up bagging though off of one bullet, which is great, 89K off a starting stack of 50. We're back on Sunday. We're in the bottom seven of the stacks, but there, like I said, there's about 25% of the field left. I'll take it, but that pocket queen's hand has been haunting me. Set on the flop. I am now good enough at poker to be able to fold this, and then I just didn't fold it. We just bagged in all the hands that you heard that I did the voiceovers in the future. So have trolling me, he has 350K. But we're about to do some advantage play. Security's right there, so I gotta stop filming. But we're gonna look for actual advantage play. So have and I know how to do it. If ever you see somebody leave a kitty glitter and they have one Siamese in each corner, the EV is so it's hot, but in smart terms, your RTP becomes 104%, again, with the Siamese in the corner. That's a Dollar fifty here. Advantage play confirmed, isn't it? We're gonna move on. Yo, this one's ready to juice, bro. All right, fuck this. All right, he's not gonna pay. Well, he's sweating. <laughs> so I found an advantage. Me, oh my god, do it. We're in. Look up. Look up. Oh my god, the whole thing moves. I'm sorry, sir, to move your slot too. I didn't even mean to move your slot. Oh my god. 
drop the beat. Press it. No. Oh, you fucked up. You're supposed to press the screen. Oh shit. Boom. That's the advantage. Guys, you gotta follow our system. Subscribe. The three meat tacos. If somebody leaves it like that, 100% do to hit. Bro, you never get the three taco set up. You can't do the three taco trick on regular falls. Gotta be cash. Oh, give me the feature, bitch. Fuck. That ain't shit. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know about the three taco method that well to implement it. Come on, monkey, drop balls. Oh, it- Shit! Fuck! You go, you go. Talk to them. Being a tough and puff, it's due. Alright, so- No, 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 no! Alright, one more hundred. Don't get discouraged. Advantage play, it doesn't always work out. Fine, we're not back here for another two days. We did lose 400 and stupid slots. Too early. Hey guys. Uh, wow, that was really gay sounding. Hey guys. Day two. Fifteen hundred dollar, no guarantee. It got about six hundred thousand in the prize pool, and we are probably a favorite to not make the money. We have eighteen big blinds. Good news is they're hour long fucking levels. With twenty five percent of the field left, you really you have like no flats. Is, is the main difference. Now that there's ICM, it's like you have three bet folds, three bet calls, and jams more or less. If somebody before you opens. Look at this landscaping. This place is so nice. Is this how you play? With blinds at 2,500, 5K, 5K, and a stack of 89K. Very first hand. We're under the gun one. Look down at red queens. Again, I don't know why I'm bringing ways to it. Plus two calls. Big blind calls. Three ways to a flop. Flop comes. King, jack, nine, all hearts. Dude checks, check. Other dude checks as well. Go to the turn. The brickiest of all bricks. The two or three of clubs. Big blind checks. I'm like, let me get some value now from Naked Ace, Heart, Other, Flush Draw, Pair, Plus, you know, fucking pair of jacks, you know, all types of shit here. Nice. 9, 10. We bet 13K into the pot of whatever it is, 38K. Heads up to the river with like 55K in there. River comes, Queen of Clubs. So there's a four liner to the street. Obviously, there's a flush out there, three hearts. He beat all his two pair. What's this guy's flatting range? I don't want to blast. But I also don't want to check and gamble up there after have to face a big bet. And the value hands that I beat all check back river, right? If he has like a set of nines here, he just probably checked back river. I bet 15k block bet, he pays, and then frustratingly muffs his hand. We win. Nice pot, fucking sick. Great to start a day two with, with a win. So now we have about 100 and probably 40. Two hands later, we're in the big blind. Middle position open, hijack and the button call. It's on us in the big blind. We have 10 8 off. We debate folding. Like, if I had like queen 8 off, I fold. Queen 9 off, I fold. 10 8. I feel like it's low enough that I, I have more coverage than the others. Anyway, we call four ways to a flop. There's fucking 50K in the middle. Flop comes 10 10 5. Rainbow. Fuck yeah. We check. Aubrey, the OG Razor. That's 7K into the 50K. Other two call. And now it's back on us. Check raise looks so strong here. There's been a bet in two calls. My hand may not even be good, but. I have, a, I have trips, I'm not fucking folding. I'm like, let me call and just see what goes down on the later streets, right? Turn comes, ace of hearts, bringing backdoor hearts. We check, and Aubrey, the original razor, now bets. Into the 78K, bets 40K with another 40K behind. Other two guys fold, and it's back on us. We have recovered, if we lose, we still are in. But like, what does she ever have? Pocket aces? Never a combo draw that's trying to bluff everyone out, right? So it's like, I'm just fucked. I keep getting put in these spots where it's like the best version of myself can just fold. Doesn't fucking matter, just fold, bro. I didn't take my time, I didn't think. I, I jammed, she called, she has 10-9 suited. She cheers for a seven, it comes a seven. Down to dust, 35K. Early position opens, we look down at ace king of hearts with our 45K. We go all in, folds back to him, he asks for a count. I say it's a lot, he calls, he has pocket threes and the run out comes five, four, five. Let's get a four. Turn is a two. River's a nine. We're out that fast. It's 11.17. I lasted 17 fucking minutes. Another hero spot. Another spot I can fold and I didn't. I, I really suck. Make the booty bounce on the dance floor. We were about to leave, but they have the ATM by the exit. And I was like, fuck it. Let me, let me do a little extra draw frenzy. Last, last, last day. Come on. Woo! There you go. Oh my god, nice. We, I should get the fuck out of here. Make the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.